I was 18, and two days after I graduated high school, I went straight to MMI in Orlando, Florida, and started right into school. I was in the dealership. I went all the way up in 2005. I became a master tech, the highest level technician you can be. Yeah, from 92 to 2005, was, that's I could go no higher. That's that's why I was master of technology. I was it. Now that you you left the dealerships and you're working for an independent shop now is there a big difference um yeah it, there's a there's a real big difference in, in the independent shop you can you more freedom you don't have the man standing over you you have to, you don't have to do it this way this way and this way and there's no questions about it your hands are kind of tied a little bit in a dealership because you don't get to go outside of the box and it, at an independent shop you can just your experience that you did on how Harley wanted you to do it, and then you come in into the independent world and you don't have any strings pulling you one way or the other way. You can just take care, of you take care of the customer the way you need to take care of the customer. I mean, some people just don't go by the book and by the cookie cutter kind of outlook. I mean, some people like custom work. Some people like different, different things other than Harley, that's for sure. Do you feel like the dealerships are different than when you first started? Oh yeah, yeah. Back back in the day when I started in '92, it was pure straight family. Bottom line, straight family, and and they meant it back then. Back then, the hog chapter was huge, and it fizzled. It just fizzled out. You think it's gotten more corporate now? More Very corporate. much more corporate. I mean, they all give the. Back then, they gave you all the videos. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family, and it was genuine back in the day. Now it's it's more, yeah. Welcome to the family. But when you walk after you buy a motorcycle, twenty thousand dollar motorcycle, and then you walk back into that dealership a month later, they don't know who you are. They try to sell you a bike all over again, and it just. So it's not about the ride it's, like it was in the 90s. It's not about the ride. It's not about, hey, how's your bike doing? It's like, hey, how can we push more product on you? How much, let's get another bike turn around. Let's get another finance going. Let's just, you, you, it just makes you feel like you, you become a number and you really do become a number. 30 years experience. I mean, how many yeah. more years do you think we got out of you? You got another 20 in you? Oh, easy. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking care of my body and oh, you know, you like I, yeah, I, I love it. I love it. I live, breathe, eat, and shit Harley Davidson. Bottom line, and that's the way. That's the way it's always been. My my whole career. I've never, I've never done anything other than working on one. Let's finish this up. What's your favorite Harley Davidson you've ever wanted, owned, or wished? Well, uh, my favorite definitely is a 1997 FX ST SB Bad Boy. Springer bad boy just that's the guy that's 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 my bike that's all there is to it you know that's that's the shit man for me I'm a Springer guy always have always will be you might own a Beamer someday <laughs> uh, probably not no. all right thanks a lot dad yeah you're welcome